So hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lucy. I always say to stay subscribed. We have a good time on this channel. Today's video is very, very special to me. And it's also a long time coming because I've been telling you guys all year that this video is coming, but I've just not gotten around to do it. My year has been crazy, you guys know that. But we're talking about friendship. So adult friendship, how to make high value adult friendship. That's pretty much what the title says. Let's start, let's get into it, okay? Let's just get right into the video. Now, friendships are very difficult nowadays friendships of 2023 and even 2022 completely different from how we used to know friendship i think it has taken a, a complete different turn nowadays people are pretty much following a standard of what friendship or relationships should look like or feel like or even the number of friends that you should have especially what is pushed out on social media these days i can tell you specifically i want person that is best suited to sit here and have a conversation with you about friendships because boy I've been through some shit <laughs> when it comes to friendships over the years. In all of them, I'm really grateful that I had those experiences with friendships because it has shaped the person that I am today and also taught me a lot. I also feel like one of the main reasons why I had those experiences with all those people over the years is because of me. To be honest, because I didn't really do the work on myself all this while or I didn't really know my worth or I just didn't, you know, kind of understand myself, my needs, my words. I didn't respect myself or set boundaries enough. I think I kind of attracted a certain type of people to me over the years. I also didn't know better because I wasn't really self-aware, which is why I only talk about being self-aware all around in your life helps you, like it does help you. I'll be honest and let you know that before now, I didn't also really respect friendships like that. I, it's not like I didn't respect friendships. I want to say I really didn't like friendships like that. So I didn't take it to heart. Like friends to me were like fickle and so temporary in my life. And that's the reason why I said most of the bad experiences that I've had with friendship had a lot to do with me and not them because I just attracted anything and everything. I wasn't exactly looking for a friend friend. I was just wanting to hang out with people or know people or like relate with people. I didn't really value friendship as much growing up up until a certain point in my adult life. I really didn't value friendship. I'm not gonna lie to you. And because of that, there are some people that you would ask that have had an encounter with me as friends that would tell you that I'm probably not a good friend and that's completely okay we are all that to one person or to people and I feel like that's something that most people find hard to admit that you could actually be a bad friend to somebody and yeah I would definitely tell you that yes I probably have been and I know I have been a bad friend to people I know there are people that could come here and tell you oh my god Lucy she was terrible to me and da, da, da. I mean I don't think I've ever been terrible to somebody to the part where they can actually come out and say oh Lucy did, did, did. but there are certain things that I know that I was absent or I probably wasn't as responsive or I was just nonchalant or I just ghosted or there are certain toxic friendship traits that I had I know people could come out and say okay yeah, Lucy was that or, or Lucy is that because obviously they don't know me right now right we all have these experiences and we're all a villain in someone's book and that's completely fine through my life experiences with friends over the years everything I have gathered everything I have gone through everything I have learned <laughs> And that kind of stuff i'm gonna sit here and give you guys my tips on how to make adult friendships like high value adult friendships that will last you a long time tip number one tip number one for me is to check yourself like i said earlier with myself i feel like why i attracted those type of people why i had those horrible experiences with friends was because i didn't do the work on myself i didn't know myself i didn't have self-awareness i didn't understand what friendship meant in fact i didn't value friendship like i said for someone to be a good friend to you you need to be a good friend to somebody like it's not a one-sided relationship you give i give you take i take type thing you need to ask yourself am i a good friend to somebody am i in the current mental state to be a friend to somebody do i have good character to transfer into my friendship or to aid my friendship be better looking at my past relationships or my past friendships with people the ones that i'm falling out with and the ones i'm currently involved with or i'm still in communication with people that are still friends in my life also so based on their reviews well not reviews per se but like their complaints their concerns their you know opinions about me as a person as a friend to them what are things that i could do better what are things that i could change what went wrong in those past friendships from my side because i know that it's always a two-sided situation but from my side what could i have done better what are the things that i need to change about myself when it comes to being a good person to another human being because first you have to be a good person for you to actually 
have a good person come to you because i always say this you attract what you are you attract what your vibe is and all that kind of stuff so you need to ask yourself questions you need to do the work on yourself first you need to be a good friend to somebody before somebody can be a good friend to you and when i say you need to be a good friend to somebody when i say you need to ask yourself questions you really need to ask yourself like am i in that current state to actually accommodate another person in my life am i in that current state to be a friend to be there for somebody else when they need me am i in that current state that i love myself enough to be able to give the remnant to somebody else because you need to love yourself too much you need to overflow in your cup to be able to pour in someone else's cup the first thing that you need to do is sit down and ask yourself will i be a good friend am i a potential high value friend high value meets high value that's just how it works you can't sit here and want what you are not you cannot want what you can't give you should be able to give what you want and that's the reason why i can confidently come here and list all the things that i require from a man from a friend from a this from a that because i'm at that point in my life where i know that i can give that so i'm not asking for too much when i ask you to give me that that's the mindset that i want you to have that's the work that you need to do on yourself to be able to attract these type of healthy relationships in your life you need to ask yourself several realistic questions if you've never had somebody tell you like what you like aside your own opinion of yourself call somebody your friend your sister your mother your auntie pretty much anyone that has had an encounter with you that you can trust to tell you the truth about yourself so pretty much what they think about you without them being judgmental do you get what i mean so you need to do the work on yourself first before you can attract what you're looking for another important aspect of asking yourself several questions is asking yourself why you actually even want a friend are you just desperate to have somebody around you are you just desperate to have people around you or are you looking for a healthy friendship a healthy long-lasting friendship being desperate going into any situation will never be good for you as a human being because you will begin to attract anything and everything you don't have standards at that point you're just looking for anything to fill up your time and filling up your time with anything says that's already recipe for disaster am i a good friend will i be a good friend can somebody consider me a good friend when i'm around somebody do i have good vibes to give do i have light to share do i have wisdom to share do i have things that could impact my friend am i at that mental state where i'm able to accommodate somebody else in my space in my life someone who would share my time with me from time to time i would give access to am i in that mental space to be able to deliver such things to people because if you're not just forget about this video entirely and just go and do the work on yourself because it doesn't matter what you do it doesn't matter if you take the rest steps or the remaining steps i'm about to share once you don't have this first one unlocked that's the end of it because there is absolutely nothing you can do to change your situation even when you have a good friend right in front of you you will destroy it you will use your hand and crush it just because you're not mentally in the space to receive such love you're not mentally in the space to receive such a healthy friendship when your mental your mindset your character is not in check you will destroy it self-sabotage it overthink it self-doubt it to the point where you destroy it so your mental your within is the first area that you have to look at if it's not right girl forget about looking for a friend just go and sit down and work on yourself leave people alone so that you don't damage somebody you don't trauma dump on somebody just go and sit down and work on yourself thoroughly before you go out there and bring that person's daughter or son into your life please now my second step after you've done the work on yourself and you're like okay yes i'm at the point where i want someone that we can both pour in, into each other's cups because i'm at this point where i know what i want and i'm going to get what i want type thing then you have to sit down and set standards for yourself and when i say set standards for yourself the reason why you're doing that is because you're able to set standards in your friendship and set boundaries in that friendship basically when you start to set standards for yourself you don't accept bullshit that's the reason why i said you need to ask yourself your why like why are you looking for a friend why do you want a friend why are you on this journey of actually finding friends do you just want friends for the fun of it are you desperate to just have girls around you do you want friends for the aesthetics of it because nowadays that's a thing <laughs> especially on social media that's a thing because of these girls trips these girls events this feminine this feminine that spa day blah blah it's kind of all glamorous on the internet so you want a click that you'll be able to do that with those are things that are going on right now so is that your reason for having a friend which is should never be a reason for finding a friend or wanting a friend for the aesthetics of it 
sis you need to set standards you take your time with it this is what i bring to the table i've done so much work on myself as a human being i will not let just anyone come in here sit down and destroy that work for me so if you're coming into my life you must have something to bring to the table and if you have nothing to bring to the table sis miss me next turn next door next apartment next street but please don't cross paths with me that's the mindset that you need to have because standards are important in every relationship whether it's romantic take all friendship you need to set standards what are you looking for what are your core values and beliefs it needs to align with whoever you're bringing into your life if not there will be a clash whether it's romantic or friendship when people actually look for life partners they talk about someone who is aligned with my values and beliefs is the same thing it also applies your values could be like i don't steal i don't take what's not mine you cannot have somebody that doesn't have the same value i am not going to keep what's not mine my conscience will not allow me and i will not let my friend drag me down that hell hole so setting standards will help you set boundaries in your friendship boundaries that they will not be able to cross and they should not cross if they respect you enough they will not cross there are certain things that make relationship and friendships flow in the right direction not stepping on toes just because we're friends not overstepping your boundaries just because we're friends so the second step again setting standards so you can set boundaries now after you've done the work on yourself you've looked at every area you have dotted your eyes you have crossed your t's you have done all the work you have cleared your your plate your table is clean and ready to receive you've also sat down and set standards for yourself as an individual you've also set boundaries moving forward into this friendship right and the third thing that you want to do is sit down and flesh out a list of what you're looking for in a friend i want you to start by looking at your past friendships and your current friendships actually what went wrong so what didn't you like what did you like in your current friendships what's sustaining it what is lacking so you have to sit down and think about these things like okay what do i want in a friendship do i want a friendship that you know we align what at this current point in my life is going to serve me who at this point of my life is going to serve me what can they bring to the table that is considered aiding my growth or supporting my growth or supporting me or what is considered aligned with me and my values you need to make a list it's different for everyone it's the reason why i can't sit here and tell you this should be this although i'm going to give you guys a few things later on but i can't tell you this is this da, 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 because friendships different for everyone what i want in a friend is always different from what somebody else wants in a friend obviously there are the normal things of like somebody who is loyal somebody you can trust somebody who doesn't talk bad about you behind your back what kind of person are you looking for is it somebody who you guys complete each other's sentences like what is it that you want from this friendship is the list you're supposed to be making right now and the first step on this process is actually looking out for some red flags in friendships i'm going to give you my red flags in friendships first i don't like people who has too many friends okay i consider that a red flag instantly once you have too many friends girl i cannot i just cannot someone obviously who likes to gossip and let me say something about gossiping right when it comes to gossiping there is a regular you know kiki here and there like girl, your friends you guys you guys talk shit okay we all do it you know what i mean when it comes to gossiping if that's the only thing that we do and that's the only way that we can bond in our friendship then we don't have any business being friends every time they come to you every conversation that you have is talking about other people People. I can't. I also don't like super clingy friends as well because honestly, I am not a super clingy friend. I like to be by myself a lot of times. So if you're super clingy, you and I cannot work. That's just it. Point blank. Another red flag for me is someone who has low self esteem or is always talking down on themselves. So someone who literally would complain about every little thing about themselves. So how they look. They are never satisfied. You can take them 200 pictures and they would not like one. Even when you see how pretty they are, they just have that low self esteem that low self talk they are always looking down on themselves i can't have that because i'm not gonna have your bad energy rubber for me i have done so much work on myself to the point where i just cannot entertain bad vibes around me and don't get me wrong you could be that blessing in somebody's life where that's how you pour into their cup like you've done the work you know self-awareness you know self-development that could be your way of actually pulling them from that hole that they're in but my thing is if i try one time two times 
times three times to try to get you out of that and you're still that like that's who you are you can't change for anything i can't have you in my life i won't have you in my life i just cannot do it someone with low vibrational attitude oh my god someone who just carries low vibration everywhere they go sis cannot be me and will not be me and i hope you're making down a list so that at least you get like general idea of the things that are a complete no at least for me but it can help you when you're making your list of what you want in a friend and what you don't want in a friend someone who complains about everything oh my god have you ever met somebody they're never coming to you with good news or something positive it's always a complaint something that didn't go their way they are always ranting and ranting and ranting and ranting and those people tend to be the ones that trauma dump on you without even asking you if you're comfortable receiving that where i respect people is when they actually fear trauma dumping on me just because they don't want to have Affect how I feel or they don't even know if I am in the position to receive such mentally I have friends who understand without even speaking they know okay you know what I don't want you to feel a type of way I don't want to trauma dump on you I don't want to dim your light I don't want to dim your mood I don't want to always be this person that would always bring gloom and clouds like dark clouds over your head and your day and your mood but there are people that literally don't get it like they will complain they will come to you with complaints and problem day after day after day after day after day after day after day they are never happy people it doesn't matter what you say to them you can actually solve their problem for the time being and tell them how beautiful life could be you can give them solutions tomorrow they'll come with another one that is just draining my energy i will never entertain such in this life that i mean god forbid on that major red flag for me which honestly i could make a whole video about red flags in friendship and if you guys want to see that actually it doesn't matter if you guys want to see that i'm gonna make that that video after this one red flags in friendship that you guys should look out for but let me mention this before that video right do you know when you meet someone that doesn't have drive someone that doesn't have that goal that zeal to achieve more to do more with themselves or for life one thing i like about the friendship that i have right now is i get inspiration from them like i am pulled from them i look at them and i'm like okay they inspire me to do more to be more to get more do you get what i mean so having someone who is just content someone who is just laid back someone who doesn't really care someone who doesn't have the drive the positive attitude towards life getting more doing more achieving more going out of their way to achieve a goal setting goals kind of organized drags you back in life if you don't know let me tell you now like i said the people that you give access to can either make or break you and this is where this comes in someone who doesn't have the same energy and the same vibe as you when it comes to getting things setting goals or becoming their higher self or doing better with themselves or advancing will never be good for you because whether you like it or not the more you hang with them you begin to pick up on these areas of their life and it begins to stick on you as yours i will never have somebody who doesn't have anything for themselves going who doesn't know what they want from life or even if they know what they want from life they don't want to achieve anything they just want to be there most especially people that just like to get from people and especially men like just get 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 but they don't know how to go out there and and fish for themselves to hunt for themselves you were not created on this earth to just sit down and mope you're not created on this earth to just sit down and get from other people's hard work or to gain from other people without actually giving i will make a whole video about red flags and green flags in friendships okay so stay tuned for that video when you have actually listed all of this out you know who you're looking for i want you to understand this as your next step not every friendship that you have is going to be your best friend understand and friendship dynamics understand the role that every person plays in your life as a friend or as somebody that you come in contact with and this is where most people actually miss the plots these days i can be your going out friend which is completely okay as long as it's healthy and we pour into each other's cup in one way we are not just people that spend money foolishly or just go to eat but there are other things that we you know kind of enjoy doing together i learn from you you learn from me in some way i pour in your cup you pour in my cup friendships have to be valuable in one way or the other if it's fitness partner if it's friends that you go for drinks friends that you travel with they are friends for different things and this is something that i didn't know i just felt like you would have a group of friends like and you have your best friends and your best friends are everything to you your best friends have to do everything they have to be available for everything you want to do they have to be okay with everything they have to join you with everything no you can have friends for different reasons for different things and please it is completely okay to categorize friendships in your life i am so sorry 
sorry i don't care what the internet has to tell you categorizing friendships in your life will save you as a human being to not overshare to someone that is not that type of oversharing friend if that makes sense one thing i respect the most in friendship is vulnerability of any sort of some sort i cannot be friends to somebody that is not vulnerable with me a friend that we cannot be ourselves i'm not saying that you have to completely open yourself 100 percent to me but you have to be vulnerable with me i might not be your best friend that you can be 100 percent vulnerable with which is okay as long as we share a different friendship dynamic that we both respect and is valuable to both of us i am okay with it i consider myself a low maintenance friend i want low maintenance friends as well i don't want someone who has a 10 step rule or 10 step guide to how friendship would be for both of us and if i don't do number six we are not friends anymore or i'm not a good friend i can't do that i am too old for that and honestly it is just not healthy some people forget that their friends are humans and have lives of their own that they need to live so it's not every time i'll be available for you to rant to me i will not be available and honestly if you're always available for me i'll actually side eye that because you're not busy enough you're not doing a lot with your life for you to always be available to me people need to understand friendship dynamics not everybody will be your best friend you probably have that one person that you guys can do anything and everything with right you can have that one person that you can call any time of the day and they're your 911 right but you still have your other friends that are close to you as well that you could also reach out to speak to but they are not going to be readily available as that your one friend and that is completely fine and that your one friend might not be the fashion friend or the tea friend or the drinks friend she might just be the best friend for emotional support and that's completely fine the fact that this friend is not available for this area of your life doesn't mean that they're not good friends to you friendship is different for different people how me and you will relate is different from how me and the next person will relate but i love both vibes equally it's just i would go to this person for this and i would go to this person for that that is okay that is fine people need to be okay with adult friendship being an adult friend is very different from having a friend in high school or a friend growing up that's different we didn't have responsibilities then we didn't have all these one two three that we needed to do we didn't have all these trouble we're not dealing with emotions we're not dealing with men we're not dealing with work at that time so friendship was pretty much childish at that time in our adult big age people are busy people have lives people have things that they have to get done on a day people have kids okay people have a home a husband people have fiancés and boyfriends and they are pointing to different people's lives in different ways they have to divide themselves to be able to accommodate the people that they love and they are also creating room for you in one way respect that appreciate that be grateful for that i don't understand nowadays where they say oh my friend is not able to do this she's not doing this she's not as this she's not at that then she's not bad i need to change her no you don't that's not fair because she might be good in other ways that she has the capability to be good but this other way that she doesn't have the resources to be or she she's not that that's not who she is that's not her personality doesn't make her bad or different or weird the only way you can have high value friendships in your adult years is to understand the dynamics of friendship and categorize people in your life this is how you and person a relate this is the kind of dynamic that you have and you respect it and move with it accordingly now the next step is understanding grace in friendship <laughs> when i say grace i also mean forgiveness in friendship right and communication this is so important in friendships because one thing i have noticed and i have also done a lot in the past is not being graceful with my friends we tend to be so unfair to our friends you will deal with a guy that will cheat on you disrespect you do the one two three he will beg you and you still forgive him why can't you extend such grace to your friend why can't you extend the same energy to your friend and nobody should come here and tell me that your friends are different from your boyfriend what's the difference now i understand that there are things that people will do to you like your friends will do to you that are just not forgivable well you can forgive them but you cannot be friends with them anymore i've had my fair share of that as well and i pretty much understand what that means because there are certain boundaries that people will cross you cannot take back you can't change you can't do anything to remedy it right but the things i'm specifically talking about about uh, certain things that happen in our friendship where maybe a situation happens where you know somebody said your friend said something about you for example right wish that to be honest
friends is one reason why I might not be friends with somebody anymore but it depends one thing I feel like everyone deserves an opportunity for them to explain themselves well, that's where grace comes in that's where communication comes in okay let's talk it out we can talk it out and still not come to a point where we would go back to being friends that's okay but the grace is at least we sat and talked about it and then came to that resolution where it's like oh there's no fixing we can't go back from it but grace is important in your relationship it's also important in your friendship why is it important everyone is human people make mistakes people can love you and make mistakes yes while it's hurtful yes while it's painful while it can be heartbreaking please extend forgiveness and grace to your friends especially the ones that are trying one thing that i do respect is people that try it doesn't matter what someone does to me obviously there are certain things that are completely off the booth i'm gonna say that again there are certain people that actually hurt you unintentionally and those situations really if i loved the person so much like loved the friend so much i just want to see what the actions are from your side like what are you doing to fix it that's what matters to me as long as you have a friend that is trying to fix things and actively genuinely trying to fix things i think the person deserves grace obviously it takes a lot of work to rebuild the trust to rebuild the loyalty to rebuild everything but a trying friend is a good friend that's the grace that i'm telling you to extend to your friends nobody is perfect we'll make mistakes here and there as long as we are trying to fix it the offender in particular pushing the accelerator to make sure that they get you back they're sorry for their mistakes they're trying to fix things they're taking the front seat and making things good and okay i would extend grace okay but if i don't see the remorse if i don't see the work if i don't see anything being done from your side oh it's dead to me you're dead to me there's no going back from me now the last thing i want to touch on before we end this video is your reception to people i know that a lot of us have our fair share of experience when it comes to dealing with people and we've been burned one too many times right but i'm ending this video to encourage you to open up or encourage you to allow yourself to receive and trust again because majority of the reasons why we might not be finding our friends or the people that are meant to be in our life is because we've locked ourselves up based on our previous previous experiences with other people we have completely closed up we've made a vow when we're hurt to be like okay i'm not letting anybody in i know i did this and honestly i'm at the point where i'm just like it is what it is an experience that has taught me so much i've learned from it but it doesn't mean that i'm going to block my blessings just because i got burned one time jigger so be open and be receptive to allowing and receiving and that feminine urge to just be nurturing and you know being like okay you know what i learned from this i've gotten what god wanted me to get from that situation i've understood the assignment and moving forward i'm going to take the lessons and implement it in my new friendship but i am going to be receptive and be open to receiving my blessing to receiving my person to getting my people around me we can say we want friends but our actions our behaviors our thoughts and all of it will not let the right people find us just because we haven't completely opened up you don't want to restrict yourself in any way in finding your person you don't want to restrict yourself in you know getting the people you don't want to restrict yourself from love like genuine friendship genuine love from people i used to be that person i'd be like okay you know what i'm never doing this again i don't want friends anymore i'm to blame i'm the one that let this happen to me if i didn't let people in this would not happen i used to be that person and then i would lock my blessings i'll lock myself and even when people will come around me good people will come around me i would use those bad experiences to spoil it. your person is still out there and you will still find your person you just have to be receptive to receiving that kind of love and receptive to receiving that person when they come you need to also be level-headed when they come so that you can spot them when they come into your life because if you're carrying all those heavy things on your chest you won't be able to embrace it fully when it comes into your life now that's everything for this video i hope you enjoyed it. i'm going to come out with green and red flags that you need to look out for in adult friendship follow me on all my social media platforms there are links in the description box below thank you guys for all the love on this channel i definitely appreciate every one of you i love you guys so 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 much let me know your thoughts in the comment section below let me know your experiences with friendships as well have you had good experiences have you had bad experiences i know a lot of you have had bad experiences <laughs> so just let's have that chat in the comment section below thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will see you in my next one bye those of you that are listening in your car at your job are you at home i don't care where you at turn this up right now because we're about to go in hey so